This video is brought to you by, AE Juice. Get ready to use professional and easy to use transitions and presets, you can get them individually or you can get it in a bundle. Check out the first link in the description. Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have already imported the files required for this project, you can download them from below link in the description. Now let's see how to create this trailer title. Create a new composition, I will name it as title, for this composition I will set time duration to, 5 seconds. Perfect. Now let's create a new solid. This will be our background layer. Perfect. Now in effects and preset. Search for gradient ramp. Add it to the solid background layer. Now set the color as shown. Here you can also set color of your choice. Perfect. Change shape to radial ramp. Set scatter to 500. Perfect. Now let's add the dust media file to the timeline. Let's change mode to overlay. Now for this dust. We will set opacity to 50%. Perfect. Now let's add the text. Here you can add any text of your choice. Here I will be using Trajan font. Type regular. Now align the text to center. Perfect. Now let's pre-compose this text layer. I will name it as text. Now let's add the scratch media file to the timeline. Place it below text. Now scale it to 50%. Now for scratch media file, in effects and preset, search for CC Repertile. Add it to the scratch media file. Now increase expand right and left value. Perfect. Now in effects and preset, search for tint. Add it to the scratch media file. Set color as shown. For scratch, go to layer style, select bevel and emboss. Now in bevel and emboss, change technology to, chisel soft. Set depth to, 250%. Now set size to, 250%. Now set soften to, 0.5. Now set highlight mode to, normal. Set color as shown. Now at start, create keyframe for angle, set it to, minus 30. Now at end of the timeline, set angle to, 130. Set highlight opacity to, 100%. For scratch, set track mat to alpha mat text. Now again add the scratch media file to the timeline. 
scale it to 50%. Now in effects and preset, search for CC Reptile, add it to the scratch media, for Reptile, increase expand right and left value. Perfect. For scratch, in effects and preset, search for fractal noise. Add it to the scratch. For noise, set fractal type to turbulent smooth. Now set contrast to 600. Set brightness to minus 110. Set complexity to 4. Now set blend mode to soft light. Perfect. Now for scratch. In effects and preset, search for CC threshold, add it to the scratch media. Set threshold to 230. Now let's add the text composition to the timeline. For scratch, change track mat to alpha mat text. For scratch, change mode to divide. Now add the metal background media file to the timeline. Hide it. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. In effects and preset, search for texturize. Add it to the adjustment layer. For texturize, set texture to metal background. Set direction to 230. Now select all layers except background and dust. Pre-compose them. Name it as metal text. Perfect. Now let's change dust and metal text composition to 3D. For dust, press R to bring up rotation. Now at start, create keyframe for Z rotation. Now attend. Set rotation to 10 degrees. Now for dust, in effects and preset. Search for optics compensation. Add it to the dust media layer. Now at end of the timeline. Create keyframe for field of view. Set field of view to 100. Select reverse lens distortion. Now at start. Set field of view to 0. Perfect. Now let's create a new camera. Now create a new null object. Change null to 3D. Now parent camera to null object. For null, press P to bring up position. Now at start, create keyframe for position. Now at end of the timeline. Increase Z position value. Set it to near about 250. Perfect. Now for text composition, double click on this rectangle tool to create mask. For mask 1. At end of the timeline. Create keyframe for mask path. Now at start of the timeline, change path, set unit to, percent of source. Set right to, 0%. Now here we will set mask feather to, 500. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now let's add the flare. Create composition of flare media. For this composition. We will set time duration to just 3 seconds. For flare, press R to bring up rotation, at start. Create keyframe for rotation, now at end, change rotation to, 90 degrees. You can see the preview. Now press S to bring up scale. At 1 second, create keyframe for scale. At start, set scale to, 0%. Now at 2 seconds, create keyframe for scale. Now at end of the timeline, set scale to 0%. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now let's add this flare composition to our main title composition. 
place it at 2 seconds. Now position the fare wherever you want. Now let's adjust the scale. Perfect. Now let's add frame. Create a new solid layer. Name it as frame. Make sure fill is set to black color. Now double click on this rectangle tool to create mask. For mask 1, let's change path. Set top to 10%, set bottom to 90%. Select inverted. You can see the complete preview. Perfect. Our cinematic title is ready. Similarly, you can create multiple title and create your trailer. <laughs>